Morning truck buddies. Long time no hear from. It's your buddy, Airborne Trucker, ABT checking in with you from Addersville, Georgia. All right, so you guys ain't heard from me last week, last week or wherever it was. It's been a minute. All right, we're gonna get to that here in a minute. It is vital to park in authorized parking spots. We get to that here in a minute. Right now, waiting to be unloaded. Addersville, Georgia, first load of the week, parked up last night. Got my truck buddy, my wife with me. She's at the hotel catching a break. Sleeping in that nice king size bed. So I'll make a video right quick while I have time. All right. So my truck buddy, my truck buddy had a birthday last week. All right. So he got home in a timely manner. He parked up, all that good stuff. Got parked up Friday, had the whole weekend off. Didn't get a load till Sunday to go pick up. So fleet manager said, hey, you know, got another truck buddy showing up. So hey, he told his driver, go ahead and go into the house pick up your load Sunday, deliver Monday, don't be late. He said, check Roger, got it. All right, so my truck buddy, he goes to his parking spot where he always parks at. He sees all the towing signs, says do not park here towing 24 seven. Parks there all the time. So his wife takes him Sunday morning to go get his truck, to go get his load to head to Charlotte. Pulls up behind a Home Depot. Just like this, truck's gone. His wife's freaking out. So my truck bar already know what, he, he already knows what happened. Truck got freaking towed. All right, so of course, you know, if you park in unauthorized parking, you're liable for all the charges, whatever you incur. Not the company, they don't give a damn about, you know, you parked here, there, and other. You gotta pay that bill. So my truck buddy calls a number calls a guy all the trucks had you no know, gps on so the truck was close the guy was being a little smart ass so i'm not gonna tell you where the truck is he was like okay whatever you know it is what it is <sighs> we have the truck you owe us 1625 dollars no cents cash only so my truck buddy's like wtf man what are the charges for? These are not negotiable. Just ask them what the charges for. So my truck buddy pulls up, sees the sign. So basically, about 800 bucks a day. It'll behoove you to make sure you park in authorized parking. If not, it will cost you like it cost my truck buddy. My truck buddy, which was me, which was not me, had to hear, I told you so. I told you so, I told you so, I told you so. I told you not to park there, I told you not to park there, I told you not to park there. So my spending the $1,625 to get the truck back, my truck buddy had to hear, I told you so, from his wife. So make sure when you're parking somewhere, you have authorization. If you're parking over the weekend somewhere, if it says no parking, if you have not got authorizations, you, the, the sign letter that TMC provides you from wherever you're parking overnight or through the weekend, make sure you have a copy of it. All right. Come to find out, talking to the gentleman that towed the vehicle by my truck buddy, they were trying to get the truck for a while. The first truck my truck buddy had was a manual. I guess they couldn't drive a manual because when he went back to his truck, the truck was always there. Now he parked there with his automatic and the truck came up missing. And they charged some erroneous things, you know, special equipment, you know, vehicle use of Volvo tractor. And all they did was somehow start the truck up and drove it to their impound lot. And like I said, they were waiting. It's just, you know, it's like 
piranhas in, you know, waiting for blood in the water. So on this episode, as a load turns, if you don't learn anything from this, learn from my truck buddy's mistake. All right, $1,625 mistake. So my truck buddy left me his paperwork. I'm gonna show it to you. So you don't, this, this ain't, I don't, I don't make nothing up. I'm at five minutes, I'm running my damn mouth. All right. These are the bills. Make sure you don't see nobody's information on there. Well, this is what they charged. That was on the tractor. This is for the trailer. That's what they charged my truck, buddy. There's nothing you can do about it. When you look at whatever laws, whatever state you're in, it ain't nothing you can do about it. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Lesson learned. Now, the thing is, if you don't have that money, they don't care. It's going to sit. And that lot was $500 a day. So they took the truck Friday. My truck buddy got it back Sunday. So you do the math. Like I said, whoever you drive for don't care that, hey, my truck got towed. <laughs> You're liable for it. You got to pay the charges. You got to pay whatever charges it is. All right. So it'll behoove you. Learn from my truck buddy's mistakes. Authorized parking only. All right, seriously, all jokes aside, that's, you know, that was a lot of beer. That was a lot of whiskey. That was a lot of whatever that my truck buddy can't spend. You know, that, that money's gone. All right, so learn from my truck buddy's mistakes. Only park in authorized parking. All right, I was hesitant to make this video, but for the folks that follow me know that I, I'm genuine. I'm about transparent as this doggone windshield. Mine's the bugs on here. All right. So, you know, I, if I can make a video that's going to help somebody, hey, I'll, I'll make one. You know, like I said, it was, it was kind of a rough week last week. You know, I've been going home every week. Let me talk about that right quick. You can go home every week and still make money if you have a good fleet manager. All right. You can make decent money. Like I said, it also depends on your deductions. Last few weeks, I've still been able to clear over a thousand dollars net over a thousand dollars net the last couple weeks even though I've been going home every week I've been staying pretty much running Florida Georgia South Carolina and that little circle oh, I went up to Charlotte too so North Carolina but if you have a good fleet manager they'll, they'll get you home by Friday I've been getting home the last two weeks Friday afternoon Friday morning Friday afternoon picking up Sunday which you get home early you gotta leave early that's the trade-off but like I said, you know, my truck buddy celebrated his 39th birthday with a $1,825 birthday gift. All right. So this is your boy, Airborne Trucker, ABT, signing out. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.